Hello, this is Jim with DC Digital. Today I'm demonstrating a DC-25 T-DN um, with an and on light and also a it's a multicolor and on light LED inside of a NEMA enclosure and also it is uh, network connected so you have a web page that is going to display the last 10 um, start stop times the last 10 process times um, and also it comes with a remote push button wall mounted switch box um, these are all environmentally sealed switches it's going to be used in a uh, aluminum smelting plant whereas there might be chemicals or whatnot uh, getting on the switches or getting on the display but the uh, switch the switch box is also an anema enclosure and these are sealed switches and this is your uh, start stop switch this is your reset to zero when you go to set it this is your uh, set the hours reset to the last time the last set time set your minutes and then set your seconds and this is an anema enclosure with a 25 feet of um, aqua seal uh, cabling this is data output this is transmitting serial data and uh, this is a dc 25 t dn with a network card and and on light this is a multicolored and on light the customer wanted to show yellow at one minute and then red when it gets down to zero in other words they've gone past their uh, allotted time for their process I've got it set for a minute 20 right now. You can set it for um, 99 hours if you want. Uh, network card, network Ethernet connection here. Um, also on NEMA or the display, it's a nine foot um, oil weather waterproof cord that comes with it. And these are cable glands where your cabling comes into for your data and then your power. And then also your Ethernet cable has a cable gland or for outdoor uh, input connection. But I've got it set for a, a minute 20. And uh, I'll show you how to set that here in a minute. But right now I'm going to go to the display here on the laptop. And it shows you 10 entries. I've been uh, entering them. So when the timer started, it puts here, or a time is started it says it shows the t time set and then um when you hit reset to the last value or reset to zero it will log it in um, you can hit stop start uh, uh, all day long and it won't record it until you reset it um, just simply because there's not it's difficult to know whether this stop is or you know whether it sh should be uh, done or not, we don't know. So we planned it so that when you have an entry, when you go to set it and you hit start, that's the first column. When you hit reset to the last value or zero, that's the second column. And then we have the elapsed time in this column. And then the customer also wanted uh, the color of the um, and on light so if it's yellow it's within one minute that they've stopped the process or they've reset it I should say if it's on red then they know that it's gone to zero if it's off then they've reset it before the before one minute left so to this is all web page uh, browser based so you have to get into it with an IP that's connected to your uh, on your uh, network so our IP here I've identified it and I just hit launch web page and this is what comes up and it you can get this from our um, our blog just type in IP setup into our blog and I'll show you how to do that here real quick so I'll go to the uh, internet I'll close this and close all this virus stuff so if I go to the internet and which I was already on 
and I go to uh, DC Digital. So you come to our website and you go to what's new and click on that and then you go over here to search and just put in IP setup and hit search and it will come up to um, networking clock network clock utilities program click on that and scroll down to IP um, instructions for IP setup and IP setup .exe and it's a zip file. Click on it, download it, unzip it. What you get is then on your home screen you would get this little thing looks like an envelope. Just double click it and then find in here in the list of your uh, network cards DC digital timer with log. So there's a timer with the log and click on it and hit launch web page and you'll see the log pop up okay it's pretty pretty straightforward pretty simple but call our technicians here if you have any troubles with getting it to come up um, then you can set it for IP you can set it for uh, static or you can set it for um, automatic uh, DHCP uh, in the network settings and username is the username and password is the password, all lowercase. And you can put in your own password if you like at that time. And then you can set it up for static IP. We're going to go back to the home page. And I'm going to show you um, the operation of the timer. So you're going to uh, hit start. So the operator is going to hit start. And... Uh, it's going to start counting down, obviously, but when it gets to one minute, it's going to light the amber light. This is a seven LED. You can have seven different, you know, lights, LEDs on this um, and on light. Uh, right now, we've got um, just two connected. We've got amber or yellow, which is uh, yellow, and then um, red. Sorry. Um, those are the two functions. It also has a sun alert that can give you an indication of whether, uh, you know, that's also a separate input. Um, but once it gets down to in this realm of one minute, which was set by us, we uh, hard coded it for one minute. Uh, we do all of our programming here. We do all the circuit boards here. We do all the manufacturing here. We do all of the engineering here. Um, just give us a call. We can get you a quote out. If you don't see it on our website, we can get you a quote on any one of our products and manipulating them in any manner. Now we have a specialty uh, engineering group that takes care of all of our networking uh, applications. So now the executive or the, the there's the red LED. And so I'm going to go ahead and push uh, reset to last value which will give, turn off the LED and then get put back to uh, minute 20. So the operator, all they have to do is hit start, stop, reset the last value. They can do that all day long. Okay. And then what happens here is I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page, the web page, and give us that last entry, which was red which means they took it down to the the zero it could have gone past zero so they had a red led and it was set for a uh, minute 20 and the elapsed time was the minute 20. so there again um it is set up so that this was this was hard coded for the one minute and then the yellow LED and then at zero the red LED and we have uh, provisions for that. We can make provisions to make it uh, variable if you want. But at this time this this specific customer wanted it for this minimal uh, um, interfacing with the um, manufacturing crew and the uh, supervisors. So the supervisor is going to see the log how many times the last 10 times it was uh, start, stop, and then 
also the elapsed time, and then whether they got it before the red uh, LED went off, the red, red and on LED went off. So that's just pretty much a upshot of um, what we have here. And in this timer log, this countdown timer log for this uh, smelting process for aluminum. Uh, so if you have any questions, give us a call and uh, be happy to answer questions or design one for you. So again, this is a DC-25T-DN with an andon light and a NEMA, uh, a NEMA enclosure and then a network um, interface for logging capabilities. And then it also has inputs or remote input uh, for your setting and uh, starting stopping of the countdown timer. So process timer. Thank you for watching. This is Jim with DC Digital.